Welcome back to our channel. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us. But if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so and we shall bring you the latest news as they happen. And together we shall support our great leader, Mazen Namdekano, IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make and put the Fulani Janjawi to shame. He say, The Fulani controlled Nigerian army is secretly issuing resident permits to foreign Fulani terrorists in Biafran land, especially the Southeast region. According to reports and a document from the Fulani Nigerian presidency, the Fulani-controlled Nigerian army is secretly issuing resident permit to foreign Fulani terrorists whom they smuggled into Biafran land and camped at their various military barracks in Biafran land for reasons not readily available. Majority of these foreign Fulani terrorists are camped in their hundreds of thousands at Obinze, Onhafia, Onecha, Enugu, Aba, and Portacourt military barracks stroke bases. Many of the Fulani caliphates, or maybe the Fulani caliphates, intend to use these Fulani terrorists for 2023 elections as Biafrans have vowed not to participate in the fraudulent Fulani organized election in Nigeria. You know, the two leading political parties in Nigeria are controlled by Fulani Janjaweed, and they are fielding only Fulani politicians as their flag bearers. And because the fraudulent 1999 Nigerian constitution requires 25% of votes from two-thirds of all the states in Nigeria, the Fulani Janjaweed wants to use the Fulani terrorists as the Southwest region will refuse to vote for the Fulani Janjaweed because they betrayed them. They were supposed to Work with them, but the Fulani Janjaweed cannot be trusted. You can't trust them. According to cited documents, an identity card bears the inscription Fulani resident permit, boldly written on it, and it was issued at the headquarters of 14th Brigade of the Nigerian Army at Good Luck Ebere, Jonathan. Barracks in Onhafia Abia State. You know, the name of one of the Fulani recipients is Ibrahim Saleh, a businessman from Niger Republic, born in Kasina State in 1995. When a consigned Biafra asked the Nigerian military authority, that is the Nigerian Army Authority, the rationale behind issuing Fulani Janjaweed with resident permits in a state that is far away from their home. The compromised Nigerian Army refused to respond, but an insider who refused his name to be published claimed that Buhari Impostor directed them to issue Fulani resident permits. The Nigerian army must tell the whole world the meaning of the Fulani resident permit ID. It is very clear that after the Fulani Nigerian government imports foreign Fulani terrorists from across Sahel into Nigeria, the Nigerian army that is compromised and controlled by the Fulani Janjaweed, houses these Fulani terrorists in their various military camps and issue them with resident permits, voters' card, 
and uh, NIN registration. Biafra politicians must be blamed for conniving with Buhari impostor to terrorize Biafra land because of their selfish interests. Now, the Fulani Janjaweed, Buhari impostor, have disappointed them, betrayed them completely. You know, the Fulani terrorists are already present in Southeast region and the whole of Biafra due to the foolishness and dumbness of our so-called Biafran political leaders. Looking for position, looking for appointments, looking for Fulani support. We don't need Fulani support. It is Fulani Janjawi that needs us. It should not be the other way around. And that is why Biafran politicians should come together, should unite together and support Biafra restoration. That is the only place that freedom is guaranteed. Freedom is guaranteed because Chuko Kikabiyama created Biafra. My brothers and my sisters, we must support Mazen Namdekano and force the full and the Nigerian government to release him unconditionally. You know, River State Governor James Onwike and Hopeless Udodinjo have concluded plans to secretly seed Emo State communities to rivers. Wike used a crooked financial inducement to relinquish town in Ohaji, Ebema, local government area of Imo State, to Rivers State, in an illegal, undocumented deal. IPOB has warned of catastrophic consequence and futuristic destructive impact if the development is allowed to proceed. IPOB warned the affected Imo state villages and communities not to be lured by the financial incentive that would come with a concession because they will regret it later. You know, the Fulani Janjaweed and the enemies of Biafra restoration are after the oil producing communities in Biafra land, especially in Imo State, and having a criminal as the Supreme Court Administrator of Imo State, it is all the Fulani Janjaweed and the enemies of Biafra needs to actualize their plan. You know, the Fulani Caliphate you know, use the Fulani military head of states to create states and use the state creation to reduce Igbo population. After killing over 5 million Biafrans during the genocide Nigerian Civil War, against Biafra, the Fulani Caliphate forced Igbo indigenous in Delta, Rivers, Benue, and Kogi State to renounce their Igbo identity. Now they are using financial inducement to move oil-producing community in Southeast region into River State, and later they will force them to renounce their Igbo identity just like they did to the Ikwere and Eche Ibos. And this has to stop. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.